let's talk about this uh, weather now. It's nice for the most part as we wind up this Wednesday. It really is. Now, the weather is going to begin to go downhill, but that's Sunday. So we can look out the window right now. This is our Terrebonne General Medical Center, Cameron. You're going, wait, I thought you said it was nice, right? There is a shower right there by Homa. So let's look at what's happening. You'll notice the bright green to our west. That's where there's a coastal flood advisory because of that persistent east southeast wind. It's pushing water on shore. And at high tide, these tides could be running two and a half to three and a half feet above normal. For us, they've been running maybe one to two feet above normal. We can zoom in and look at what's happening. A few little sprinkles. Look, here they are just to the south of Wagaman. It's not much. They just popped up. North of Hammond, right there at Tickball, you've got a little bit of rain. Then we can go to the south. Look, I told you, right by Homa, you do have a shower. So let's look at what's happening. And what we've had is this big area of high pressure to our northeast. Remember, with high pressure, you get that clockwise flow. So that's what's pushing moisture our way and causing the humidity to go up and giving us a slight chance of rain. We also have an area of low pressure developing in the South Gulf, and that's moving to the north. So more rain is heading over towards Texas where they have had wildfires, and look, rain is popping up. Flash flood watches are in effect because of that potential for some heavy rain. We then have Tropical Storm Patricia in the eastern Pacific, the 12th storm, by the way. It's going to be moving to the north. And one other factor, we've got this big upper level low over the southwest, and that's helping to pull moisture to the north, too. So we've got changes that are going to be taking place, especially for Texas. They really have that risk for heavy rain, even severe storms. This cold front is going to get its act together. It's going to move our way, getting into the area Sunday, and then it's going to stall. So we can look at what's happening over the next few days. High pressure continues to the east. We've got that east-southeast flow. Each day, a slight chance of rain with high temperatures basically through Saturday in the low 80s. It's in Texas. You can watch this rain. Look at how it's not moving. That's why there is the real potential for heavy rain over there. So keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling. But for us, for Election Day, not looking too bad. A slight chance of rain, the heavier rain to our west, and then it moves in overnight into Sunday. So for Election Day right now, I've got a 20% chance of rain with your highs in the low 80s. But if you wait late to go vote, Keep in mind that your rain chances will be higher. Right now, just a trace of rain for the month. That's why we continue with that extreme to severe drought on the North Shore. Burn ban continues in effect. High temperature today was 82 degrees. And across the area, we were basically in the upper 80s, but or rather low 80s, but over towards Hammond got up to 86. It was a great day for the Washington Parish Free Fair, this twit pick from Bridget. And then looking up, Nola Spice Designs, and in this twit pick, her mother took the picture, and it's a great picture. So we can look at our temperatures right now, mid to the upper 70s, a few low, low 80s still out there. Morning low temperatures in the low to the upper 60s, and your high temperatures tomorrow climbing right there into the low 80s. Small craft need to exercise caution along the coast with that east wind at 15 to 20. Tomorrow afternoon, upper 70s to the low 80s. Slight chance of rain through Saturday. Saturday night, your rain chances go up. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We're going to have a decent shot at rain, and we may have to increase those rain chances. So we'll be keeping you posted on that. All right, Margaret, thanks.